morning, Bishop Tobin. My name is Samantha Jessup, and I'm Student Council President at St. Cecilia School. We thank you for visiting us during the first week of Advent. We've learned that the first candle represents hope, and we thank you for giving us the chance to provide hope for so many in our faith community. On behalf of our school and parish, we'd like to present this donation to you along with a small gift for you. Thank you for all that you do. Boys and girls, brothers and sisters, good morning. good morning. I'm very, very happy and excited to visit St. Cecilia School. Samantha, thank you for your words and your presentation. I'm very grateful for that. And thanks, Father Batty, for your kind welcome and your little parable as well. I'm so uh, honored to be with you today. You know, we have so many great schools in the Diocese of Providence, and certainly St. Cecilia is one of the very, very best schools in our diocese. And in our state. So my visit today is an opportunity to say thank you and to keep up the good work to your administration, your principal, to your teachers, your staff, your volunteers, parents, and to the students. We're very, very proud of you and very grateful for the good work you're doing here at St. Cecilia School. And every winter is very difficult. We have a lot of snow and ice and wind it's going to be very cold. And this year especially, we know that heating and utilities is going to be more expensive than others with gas and heating oil and all the other ways we have of heating our homes and schools. It's going to be more expensive this year than others. There's going to be a lot of people, a lot of people who can't afford their heating assistance this year. That's why this program is so important. You give to the church some funds and we give it to people who are in need who don't have any heating assistance. But think what it would be like to go through this whole winter in your homes, in your schools, without any heat at all. It would be awful. But our Keep the Heat On program allows people to stay warm and safe during the winter months. So thank you so very, very much for the contribution, the donation you've made to the Keep the Heat On program. This is the beginning of this year's program. Over the years, we've raised almost $4 million dollars to help 16,000 households. Think about that, $4 million to help 16,000 homes that have been kept warm because of this program. Right, well, as we, we said, this is the beginning of our 18th annual Keep the Heat On campaign, which is a program we started when I came to the diocese almost 18 years ago. It raises funds to provide heating assistance for people throughout the region who have nowhere else to turn, who have exhausted every other means of providing heat, uh, heating um, assistance for, for themselves during the winter. We know it's going to be a long, cold winter, as it always is. We know that utilities are much more expensive this year, so we're very grateful that we're able to begin to keep the heat on program once again this year. It's important. It saves, it saves lives, really. It's a very good and important program for us. Now, you had mentioned some of the numbers, maybe uh, $4 million for 16,000 homes. Could you, could you mention that again? Right, yeah. Over the first 17 years of Keep the Heat On program, we've raised about $4 million and provided assistance to 16,000 households uh, throughout the region, Catholic and non-Catholic alike. It's a very good program, provides uh, assistance for those who have nowhere else to turn. So we're very grateful we can launch it again this year here at St. Cecilia's School. We get the children involved. But it's a good kickoff for us, and we hope that people will be as generous um, this year as they have been in the past. It's been a wonderful program. As I, as I like to say, it, it warms not just our homes, but people's hearts, too. And that's also important. Of course. How can people um, sign up to be recipients of uh, your help? Either to do make donations or to be a recipient of the heating assistance. They can, can go on to our diocesan website and just click on to keep the heat on campaign and all the information they need either to receive assistance or to make a donation is available on our diocesan website. And lastly, how, uh, for me at least, how important was it to come out here today and to see the young kids get involved in something like this? Well, it's wonderful. As I said, one of the purposes of Catholic schools is to teach charity, to teach community service. And this is a great way to get the kids involved and to train them now to uh, be very generous and very charitable. It's one of the great benefits of our Catholic schools. So I'm very happy to be here at St. Cecilia's in Pawtucket to launch our program again this year. Okay. Anything else you guys want to ask? No. Is there anything we're missing you'd like to mention? I don't think so, no. It's just um, you know, a, a wonderful time as we get into the Christmas season to remember the 
uh, importance of Christmas and sharing the gifts of love that we've received and Keep the Heat On campaign helps us to do that in a very real and tangible way. That's one of the things I like about this campaign is very tangible, it makes a real difference. We receive the money, it goes back out to help people pay their heating bills and that makes a big difference for people. And I guess just the last quick thing is how long do you accept donations till? Well, anytime really throughout the year, but the campaign starts now and goes throughout the spring because a lot of people come springtime will have their utilities turned off, they'll be running out of other resources, so it starts now and goes throughout the spring. But anytime people can make a donation.